In a gripping narrative, eight Indian Navy veterans are staring down the barrel of death row in Qatar. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the international diplomatic community and left a nation grappling with the harsh reality of its citizens facing capital punishment abroad. Our story unfolds in August of 2022 when these eight men, all employees of Doha-based Dara Global, were taken into custody. B-roll footage shows them diligently working in their private capacity to oversee the induction of Italian small stealth submarines U-2I-2. The individuals at the center of this maelstrom, namely Captains Navtej Singh Gill, Birendra Kumar Verma, Saurabh Vasisht, and Commanders Amit Nagpal, Purnendu Tiwari, Sugunakar Pakala, Sanjeev Gupta, along with Sailor Ragesh, were thrust into a whirlwind of legal proceedings and uncertainty. The charges, shrouded in a veil of secrecy, were not immediately made public by Qatari authorities. Along with the Indian nationals, two Qatari individuals faced prosecution, including Kamis al-Ajmi, the CEO of Dara Global, who endured a two-month stint in solitary confinement before being granted bail. An animated representation depicts an Omani national who had been detained alongside them being released just before the commencement of the FIFA Football World Cup. As the Indian government scrambled to make sense of the situation, Deepak Mittal, former Indian ambassador to Doha, met with the detainees on three separate occasions. Now operating from the Prime Minister's office in Delhi, Mittal has been tasked with keeping a close eye on the unfolding situation. According to a report in the Financial Times, these eight Indian nationals had been charged with spying for Israel, an accusation that has yet to be officially confirmed by Indian authorities. Fast forward to last week and a Qatari court has now sentenced these eight men to death on charges of espionage. This development, a rather rare occurrence in Qatar, has hit the Indian government like a bolt from the blue. Qatar, it's worth noting, has not carried out an execution in 17 years with the last one taking place in 2003. In summary, eight Indian Navy veterans have been sentenced to death in Qatar on charges of espionage, a verdict that has left the Indian government and citizens in a state of shock and disbelief. The Indian nationals, previously employed by Dara Global, were initially detained in August of 2022. The charges against them, reportedly spying for Israel, were not made public until recently. As we speak, their fate hangs in the balance. Caught in the crossfire of international politics and legal proceedings, the Indian government, in tandem with its diplomatic machinery, is working tirelessly to secure their release. In the grand scheme of things, this case serves as a stark reminder of the intricate, often perilous dance of international diplomacy and the human lives that can tragically get caught in its web. As we wait for further developments, our thoughts are with the eight men and their families caught up in this international melee. Animated graphics and B-roll footage of the eight men and their families help to bring this story to life, creating a more engaging and visually appealing narrative. Have you ever pondered over the journey, the trials and the triumphs of the Indian community in Qatar? Well, strap in as we delve into the fascinating narrative. In the Gulf and West Asian region, Approximately 90 Lakh Indians make their home, with nearly 8 Lakh residing and contributing to the workforce in Qatar. This diaspora is generally known for their law-abiding nature and their significant contribution to the Qatari society and economy. However, like every community, there have been exceptions. In the past, a few incidents of offensive behavior by some Indians led to local authorities taking action. One notable instance was the reaction to controversial remarks about the Prophet by BJP's Nupur Sharma, which drew objections from several countries in the region, with Qatar leading the charge. The saga takes a dramatic turn with allegations of espionage against eight Indians, who were employees of Dahra Global Technologies and Consultancy Services, a reputed defense services provider. Owned by a retired squadron leader of the Royal Omani Air Force, the company was held in high esteem by Indian envoys and had been a conduit for bilateral relations between India and Qatar. In the midst of these allegations, Commander retired Purnendu Tiwari, the managing director of the company, was conferred with the Pravasi Bharatiya Saman in 2019 for his efforts in fostering India-Qatar relations. However, the company ceased operations in Doha in May 2023 
leading to all its employees, primarily Indians, returning home. The narrative takes a grim turn in October 2023, when the eight Indians were sentenced to death by a Qatari court. The verdict sent shockwaves through India's Ministry of External Affairs, which expressed its dismay and is currently exploring all legal options. While this incident has cast a shadow, it's important to remember that it is not reflective of the entire Indian community in Qatar. Many have faced challenges and emerged triumphant, contributing significantly to the socio-economic fabric of Qatar. This isn't the first instance of an Indian facing a death sentence overseas. In 2019, 44 Indians were reported to be on death row in Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, some for drug-related offences. The most notable recent case involves former Navy officer Kulbushan Jadhav on death row in Pakistan, also on charges of alleged espionage. In conclusion, the story of Indians in Qatar is a complex and evolving one, fraught with challenges but also marked by significant achievements. As we await further developments in the recent case, we stand in solidarity with the Indian community in Qatar, highlighting their resilience, contributions and the continual efforts of the Indian government to ensure their rights and safety. Four hearings have occurred thus far, with the Indian government stepping in to help the Indians challenge the death sentence in higher courts and seek reprieve from the death penalty. It's a familiar stance for the Indian government, reminiscent of their approach in the Enrica Lexi Italian Marine case of February 15, 2012. The families of the convicted have filed a plea with the Emir of Qatar, who is known for his pardons during Ramadan and Eid. This route is also being pursued with the help of the Indian government. The Indian government has taken up the matter at various official and political levels. The multifaceted ties between India and the tiny but powerful Gulf state are under scrutiny. The Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, visited India in 1999, 2005 and 2012. In November 2008, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh visited Qatar, marking the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister. In March 2015, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, paid a state visit to India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi continued this momentum with his visit to Qatar in June 2016. Fast forward to October last year, Prime Minister Modi spoke with the Emir, accepting his Diwali greetings and conveying India's good wishes for a successful FIFA World Cup tournament scheduled to be held in Qatar. They agreed to jointly celebrate 50 years of India-Qatar diplomatic relations during their conversation on October 29, 2022. Qatar's increasing influence in international diplomacy, from hosting the Taliban's global mission in Doha to playing a role in securing the release of U.S. hostages from the captivity of Hamas, can't be ignored. Delhi is expected to reach out to Doha, as both sides have high stakes and strong ties. The two countries share robust economic ties. Liquefied natural gas imports from Qatar play a crucial role in these relations, as do the substantial investments by the Qatar Investment Authority in India's economy. In the financial year 2022-2023, India's bilateral trade with Qatar was USD 18.77 billion, with India's export to Qatar being USD 1.96 billion, and India's import from Qatar amounting to USD 16.8 billion. Defense ties with Qatar also stand strong with defense cooperation being an integral part of the bilateral agenda. Indian immigrants are seen as law-abiding and are held in high regard in Qatar. Influential members of the Indian community will thus be tapped to negotiate with the Qatar establishment. One potential workaround could be the transfer of prisoners agreement that was signed in 2015 between India and Qatar. However, a significant challenge could be how Delhi handles the allegation of spying for Israel, especially given the geopolitical sensitivities amidst the Israel-Hamas war. The recent death sentence of Indian citizens in Qatar has brought to the forefront the complex web of legal, diplomatic and political considerations between the two countries. It's a situation that demands a delicate balance of assertiveness and diplomacy, one that could potentially redefine the ties between India and Qatar.